Welcome back, my friends. I'm super excited to share this story with you. I'm with my buddy Jeff. I'm at Assurance here in Minnesota. The reason I'm excited to share this with you is because when I look at a Matt Sir, oftentimes price is the first thing that comes to mind. Wow, what a phenomenal machine. High precision, high accuracy. It's gonna last a long time. Pallet chains to run through the night. I think this has to come with a price tag. There's no smaller companies that's gonna buy this. And boy, I will tell you, I am wrong. This company, Assurance, is an amazing company, growing quickly and employee owned. However, it is not yet massive and they invested in this Matt Sura machine and I'm gonna help you learn why Jeff and Assurance got into it. So Jeff, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. You're welcome. So let's talk about this Matt Sura. Now, I look around this shop, I see a lot of three axis machines, but this is a true five axis pallet change machine. What made you jump into it? Well, we were uh, doing a lot of a lot of put and taking parts in the three axis, different vice operations, and our production numbers grew. Our orders grew from like 300 pieces to 2,500 pieces, and we needed a way to optimize it and make it more efficient and run maybe more lights out. Um, do more ops and do more operations in one op. So we eliminate, like for instance, the part that's running is a normally a four operation part because it's got end holes. So we eliminate that by doing the three plus two on the Matsura. So you get three ops done on your first op and then now all you got left is your final back op to face it off and do your deburring and whatever. So it's, it's, it's increased our production a lot. I mean, it, it made us handle a lot this year. A lot of loads, a lot of parts went through this, huge. Well, Jeff, let's talk about that first piece you brought up, and that's the need to run lights out production because same like so many people out there, we don't have the time to load and unload and load and unload. We have to run through the night. And your production is really shot up from 100 pieces per job to 2,000, 3,000 pieces per job, hasn't it? Yeah, it's just increased massively. And the other thing I was going to say now that I remember was the elimination of, of people. Now you got to find, you could have bought another three access machine or two but now you got to fill them with bodies to stand there all day and flip parts and load parts where um, you can do a lot of, lot of uh, unattended time with a machine like this. Um, it's been great for us, uh, especially myself. I can, I can program this or work on a different program while I get something running in here and there's so many parts, you can load up all the pallets you got a few hours before you even got to come back to it. And the machine on the other end of it has been so reliable. Um, very little tool break. I mean, granted we do, a, I mean, we haven't did any steel in here, so we've did 100% aluminum parts, but all the taps and the small drills, we have the laser check, you know, for lights out if you want to, check your, your drills and taps so it doesn't keep running all your pallets. Um, it's been just incredible. I mean, I ran that last, last order, I ran 2,300 parts without changing a tool. And you just walk away, I mean, how many hours? There was probably a, a 60 hour, 60, 70 hour run of machine time. And no tool breaks. And the parts are, the same every time. So it, it works out awesome for us. Hey Jeff, you brought up that you're reducing the operations, taking three operations, putting them into one, and now you're touching on the 10 pallet change. You also brought up you have a lot of tool holders, which is 90, I believe, and you're starting to fill up. So with the combination of the pallet change, hours and hours on end of running, the larger capacity that you can hold for tools and you're not breaking them you're really having the full gambit of opportunity and success here aren't you yeah we actually yeah we can you got 90 tools so you can set up multiple jobs and never take out a tool so it makes my programming 
a little easier because now you get a library built of all the tools in there. Well, there's pretty common tap sizes and pretty soon you got every one in there with every drill for roll form or cut or whatever that you can just pick it. So from switching back and forth the jobs, and we haven't did a lot of final ops on, the, on this machine, but we do that first initial op because we grab onto the bottom of the material, do all the sides we can, and then we just do a finish op in an off machine. Um, that seems to work the best for us. Otherwise, you would have to customize a lot of jaws in the vices and stuff or come up with different picturing. Um, and that is a possibility. But uh, for us, it seems like we can switch back. Once we got that job programmed, you reduce your setup time, you increase your productivity, and it's just, it's, it's been great for us this year. Like I said, it's, we've had a, a great year. We've increased it. We've uh, we started out the year behind, and we're actually catching back up. I mean, we've ran a lot of lights out. We go home, we let the machine run. I mean, we'll get 15 hours a day out of this thing for months at a time. We've had it here for about uh, seven months of running time now, and we'll probably look to get another one in the future if our production keeps increasing. I love hearing that, brother. That's amazing. So I have to ask you, you knew that your jobs were increasing. You're going from the hundreds into the thousands of parts. You knew that you needed to get and invest in something that was going to allow you to run lights out. What aspects of the Matt Sura made you want to invest in it? And after having it for seven months now, did it live up to all expectations? It was a good choice. We, we called Productivity. They're a company. They're a good tool to use for us. Uh, sell a lot of equipment. They partner with Matsura to sell their machine. Um, and we went to them, talked to them, showed them our parts of what size capacity we would need for a 330 or would we have to go something bigger. Um, and we come to the conclusion this machine would work great. 10 pallets, more parts, um, and we worked with them, and we chose Matsura. The other reason is Matsura did a great job on being readily available. Um, not a lot of machines that were readily available. It was like, it was, a, it was a big need for us because we were growing so fast and our customers were asking us if we could provide. And we were like, we need something to increase the capacity. So these guys had it on the floor and they could ship it to us within a month, you know? And instead of some other equipment, we looked at a couple other but they were six, eight, nine months out. And that makes a big, that made a big problem for us. So it was like, well, I mean, Matsura's got a good name. Um, I know they don't make junk. And, uh, and it's been a great machine. It's been top notch. I would say it holds accuracy. It's, uh, it's been a great machine for us. It's just, uh, Everything that we expected out of it, we probably got plus more. I mean, we've, we've uh, increased our production tenfold, I would say. That's awesome. And you mentioned earlier, you can't keep throwing people at it, right? And now you mentioned a pallet change and the ability to get it off the floor right away. And you knew that your jobs were increasing so drastically and so quickly you needed something right away. But you couldn't sacrifice quality. You couldn't sacrifice time. So what does precision and accuracy mean to you with the parts that you're making? So we make a lot of medical parts. Um, so we need, we need to be accurate. Um, we're building a lot of high-end stuff that, I mean, there's a lot of tolerances that are plus or minus five thou, which is nothing, but then we got also, we got plus two thou minus nothing. And we gotta, you've gotta hold that on 2,300 parts. So, this has been a great machine. 
Um, the spindle is, is work awesome. The, uh, the accuracy, the, uh, it's, it's did everything we've, we've expected and more. I mean, it's been a great machine for us. And Jeff, we know that this is your first true five axis here, right? We know that this is 20,000 RPM. We know this is a pallet pool of 10 pallets. We know that there's three sides on each of these little mini tombstones. We know you have 90 tools. We know you need precision. But what was the transition like when moving into a superior technology like this and moving into five axis machining, going from three to five? A, was it easy? Was it difficult? And if it was difficult, was productivity and Matt Sir there to support you? Yes. Um, to answer the first part, we, uh, I'm, I'm main, I come from a, a 2D programming background. I mean, I did a lot of wire work in my previous years, and I have ran a lot of three axis stuff. But when it came to this, it was a whole new world. I still got to use Mastercam, but to transition over, because Matsura has partnered with Camplete to run it through their system, I had to, I had to relearn some stuff. And for me, the, the three plus two to getting that to rotate and all that, there is no way I could have did it without the support of productivity and Matsura. Um, the apps guys at Productivity, hands down, made it, made my job and life a lot less stressful. Um, I still got a lot to learn, but uh, I'm getting there. I mean, we're running, and I'm not calling them up every day, so it must mean something. But uh, no, it's the transition was was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I was a little nervous at first. Not afraid of the machine so much. I've been around enough machines. Not afraid of that. Programming end, a little bit. But uh, they really helped me through it. If I had any questions, any problems, productivity came down for a week. Helped me through a lot of the stuff to learn it. Um, I took a couple programming classes to refresh my skills. And, uh, and we're moving forward. It's been great. It's been a great. It's been a great story in our shop because our. I don't know on some of these, and that's the other thing on these parts. On a lot of the parts, there's some parts that now that we do three sides, we save 35, 40 percent of time from doing it on a three-axis machine. And Jeff, I know there's people out there right now watching this interview going, wow, an employee-owned company, a new Matt Sir, a growth potential, who knows how big you're gonna get at some point, right? Going, well, where can I find them? How can I possibly work with them? And how do I work with them to make me parts as well? How can they find you? What's your website? That would be uh, www.assurancemfg.com. You can go to that website. The main facility is up north. We're a little remote shop down here south of the cities, but uh, they have a lot of good stuff on there, a lot of opportunities on there, uh, a lot of contacts. Um, if you need anything, maybe looking for a job at some point, there's probably opportunities on the website. I haven't been on there in a while, Maybe that's something more you can ask Jeff Swenson. But yeah, that's all I have. Perfect, man. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for sharing the story with the audience, guys, gals. I hope you've learned as much as I had today from Jeff. I mean, listen to these stories, talking about cycle time reduction, talking about taking multiple operations, putting it into one. We're all fighting for operators these days. We can't keep throwing people at spindles, and it has to go into automation and lights out automation. When you think about the spindle, uptime, the amount of hours this machine is pushing right now compared to a one-off every single time, it pays for itself so quickly. So think about that and thank you all for watching. Jeff, thank you for being a part of MTD CNC. Oh.